Got it. What you want, Chrome Boy? Is your name Lee Hong? Yeah, maybe it is, maybe it isn't. What's it to you? I want to talk to you about Evelyn Carmichael. Ev... Man, it's off! I already told all you knuckles all there is to say. Relax. I'm not with the police. I work private. And you could say I specialize in cases like yours. If you ain't police, then what the fuck you want? A simple proposition. I have proof that shows you murdered Evelyn. And I want you to pay me two and a half million credits to make that proof disappear. Two and a half? Bullshit. You ain't got shit on me, Narco. I ain't paying you shit. I strongly suggest you reconsider. And I strongly suggest you get the fuck out of my face. Because unless you got your proof right here, I ain't got shit to say to you. All right. Let's start with the police report. I know your story doesn't match up with the evidence at the scene of Evelyn's fall. Oh yeah? And why's that? Because the police report was full of inaccuracies. Like someone deliberately tampered with evidence. Yeah, and? <laughs> that still don't prove shit. Not only does the evidence not add up, but neither does your testimony. You lied about why Evelyn fell down the stairs in the first place. You said you'd both been drinking heavily prior to the accident. And the reason Evelyn fell was because she was drunk. We both know that isn't true. Man, that shit was in the papers. Now, if the evidence doesn't fit, and your story was a lie, then how did Evelyn die on that night? Well, the answer is pretty simple, really. You killed her. But how? By hitting her in the head with that antique clock you keep so prominently displayed in your apartment. The lacerations on her head, the intracranial hemorrhaging, it's the perfect match. In my apartment? How the fuck do you know what's in my apartment? And like any good crime of passion, you needed motivation. Something to fuel your violent outbursts. What did Evelyn say or do to make you murder her? She wasn't happy in the relationship. She wanted to take it to the next level, but you wanted none of that. When she threatened to get your family involved, you hit her. But just a little too hard. Yeah, we argued about that, but what bitch doesn't? But now the final piece of the puzzle. Why was Evelyn's death never considered a murder investigation? Because your family, one of the wealthiest and most influential families in Shanghai, covered it up. But whose silence did they buy? Lim. Your family's sizable investments in Lim assured the autopsy performed on Evelyn's body would never see the light of day and her death would simply fall through the cracks of an already crumbling justice system. Fuck this shit, man! And, and fuck you! I can help you, Lee. But only for a price. All right, fuck! I can't believe this shit! I'll pay you, man! I'll pay you just... What do you need from me? Details. Let me hear your side of the story, and then we'll move on from there. I don't... I don't know! Evelyn, that stupid bitch! She was going to ruin me. I... I didn't mean to kill her, okay? Evelyn wouldn't shut up about us, about the baby, so I hit her! I just wanted to make her shut her stupid mouth. But the dumb bitch started freaking out! So I hit her again and, until I... Until she finally stopped screaming. When I realized what I'd done, I, I panicked. She was barely breathing, so I carried her to the stairs near my apartment and... and dropped her. I had to make sure it looked like an accident. I had no choice! She trapped me! She just wanted my money! I would have been ruined! I need to go. We'll be in contact again soon. Huh? What? What about the evidence? And the money? Where the fuck you going? Goodbye, Lee. Malik, please tell me you got a recording of all that. Oh my god, Jensen, I could kiss you right now. I can't believe you got him to confess so openly like that. To be honest, it was easier than I was expecting. You were definitely right about Lee. He's not exactly the sharpest tool in the shed. Well, don't get too cocky just yet. 
Before I send our little friend's confession off to the local media and authorities, I want to get some Shanghai street justice first. There's a control panel linked to the hive I need you to hack. Uploading the coordinates now. Verifying the signal. Come on, come on. Okay, I'm in. Remote frequencies are clear, thank God. Uploading now. And done. Meet me in front of the hive, Jensen. I have a little surprise for our friend Lee. Jensen. Malik. Well, first take this. I was going to use it myself, but after everything you've done, I think you deserve it more. So what are you going to do now? I have a few loose ends to tie up, and I need to make sure this autopsy report finds its way into the right hands. The Hongs aren't going to buy their way out of this one. Lee's confession is solid. With that and the evidence from the autopsy, there's no way he can avoid prosecution. Justice will be served. Oh, justice will be served, all right. You might want to stick around for a second. I've got one last little surprise for our friend Lee. Are you facing the hive? It's almost showtime. In three, two... Malik. Just watch. I don't... I don't know. Evelyn, that stupid bitch! She's going to ruin me. I... I didn't mean to kill her, okay? Malik, Evelyn, remind me never to piss you off. After everything you've done here for Evelyn? For me, you'd have to try pretty hard, mister. Malik, any word from Pritchard yet? I'm right here, Jensen. Staring at a blueprint of the Tai Yong Medical Building. Great. I need access to a security terminal in the upper city tower. You do realize there's an entire skyline between you and it, don't you? I know. The Pangu. Any idea how I'd get to it? I suggest you start by going up.
Access grant. Enough with the play-by-play. -play. What do you need? There's a valve in the next room. You have to close it. I'll see what I can do. Oh, thank God. <coughs> Please, hurry. Please, stop wasting time. Access granted. saved my life. How can I repay you? You can give me some directions. To where? I need to get to the upper tower. You must use the elevator pass to acquire your sterilization room. But unauthorized personnel aren't allowed up there. But Kim is the guard on duty today. He owes me a favor. Just tell him Lee sent you, and he should let you through. Much appreciated, my friend. The least I can do. Where do you think you're going, buddy? This is a restricted area. Lee didn't warn me that I might be refused entry. I guess he figured you'd remember the favor you owe him and let me by. Right, look. I'll let you pass because I do owe him. But watch out for the security systems. If you get detected, I'll have no choice but to take you out. Fair enough. I'm filing reports for equipment malfunctions. Anything to report? Yes, something is wrong with the end effector in the mechanical arm. What exactly? Well, if I knew, I wouldn't be making a report, would I? I'll send someone up to the maintenance catwalk to check it out.
Access grant. Access granted.
Access grant. 